thanks again to George for the challenge for this week's prep and data. So we're looking at the longest flights in the world. So we're going to take it field by field and see what needs cleaning up. So if we take a look, for example, at our airline, that's looking like it's pretty clean. Our flight number as well. Maybe we've got like multiple flight numbers in there, but we're not going to worry too much about that for this challenge. We've got a from field and a to field, and these ones do have slight issues. So uh, where we've got our city that um, the flight was going to, we've also in some cases got the airport name. So for example, here it says Dallas Fort Worth, Fort Worth with a slash in between. If we scroll down a little bit, we'll see we've got a dash here. Um, and I think there's also one example here at the top, Chicago, um, that has a dash as well. Similarly, in the two field, we have a, um, a slash and a dash as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a replace function to change all the dashes into forward slashes. So we can then split those up and we'll just have the airport, uh, the city name um, left to work with. OK. So in the from, we go ahead, we write that replace calculation. So a nested replace. So it's replacing both uh, both the dashes with slashes. So I think one of them is probably a dash, one's a hyphen, um, which uh, that's why it has to be a nested replace function. Then we do that split. So we go to the three dots menu here, go to split values and do probably, uh, we're doing a custom split in this instance because we don't want what comes after. So just on the slash, we just want the first field that comes off of that. And that's how we get um, just our city names, okay, or just our place names. So we get that, we remove the original field and we just rename this one. And we do exactly the same steps in the two. So that is great. That's all nice and cleaned up. And then we create this root field. So um, our from plus a dash in between and then our two, that just gives us our root. So on the original dashboard, anytime we've got those lines, we can just have the root on there. Just use that as one field, it's a little bit easier. So our, our airline and our flight number, as we say, they're fine. Let's move on to our distance. So we can see that we've got our kilometers, our miles, um, and then also NMI, which I'm not sure what that distance measurement is, but basically we're only interested in the miles and the kilometers. So we can split up, first of all, on our opening bracket. Then we can do a split on that semicolon, and that'll help us to extract those values. So if we do that, first of all, on the uh, opening bracket, and we get everything coming back, then that's it. the field split up in two. We then split this field again so that we get just the miles, and then we can clean it up by removing our lettering. Uh, removing the punctuation, so that's by going to the menu here, going to clean and making sure that we remove the punctuation, remove the letters, and then we can just change these fields to be numeric and also rename them. So that's what we do in this step. Okay, then we're doing a little bit of ranking, so which uh, route is the longest. So we're doing, we can do that either on the miles or the kilometers field, it doesn't matter. But we go to this menu here, we go to create calculated field and we would do a rank there. Um, and in this instance, we do a dense rank because if we just open that up there, um, you'll see that when we get to 12, we actually have a couple of uh, routes that have exactly that same distance. So it's from Singapore uh, to San Francisco, sorry, the other way around, uh, but by two different airlines, they're split up. Okay, so that's why we have those additional ones. And then it just goes to 13. That's why it's a dense rank in that case. So then if we scroll along, we've cleaned up our distance, now we're onto our duration. So our duration's being read in as a date time field, um, which isn't quite correct. So we want to just make sure that gets turned into a string field and we just want to keep the information about how long that duration is for. So if we just see there, so we change that to a string type, uh, then we'll just do a split on the space so that we just have left over the um, time that that duration lasts. And then we just rename that field uh, scheduled duration. OK, and then our first flight field is a date, but it's not being read in. It's being treated as a string at the moment. So we can just change the data type and prep can recognize that and change into a date time for us. Sorry, a date, not a date time. 
Now we can bring in the spatial information that we have from the world cities. Um, so we've got the latitude and the longitude there. So we need to join it not once but twice. So we join it the from to the city name. Um, we miss out a few from uh, the world cities, but we're keeping in all the 31 rows from the um, longest flight table. So that's OK. We don't mind losing these A rows. They're probably in the two city field, um, field instead. So we join that on and then we just do a bit of renaming. We rename our Latin long to be from Latin and from long. Then we join it on the two field equal to the city field have just noticed that we are losing one field here. My apologies, that must be an old version of the uh, input file there. Um, sometimes happens when we're building these challenges. It should be that Bengaluru is included in the world cities. Um, and so an inner join should be working there. Um, so we do that and then um, we just rename again that Latin long to be too lat and too long and then we're ready to output our data source. So thanks again to George so much again for this challenge and I hope you enjoyed watching.